Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. So, I've been meaning to do this video since a long time. So, ever since I've started doing my blog posts and videos, I've got a couple of DMs asking me what are all the stuff I've bought uh, before baby arrives. Um, so, I thought I'll do a video instead of a blog post because there's so much to talk, it would be easy for me to do a video. So, keep in mind, guys, whatever the stuff I'm going to talk about, I've bought everything after the baby arrived because my mom was like strictly said no to buy anything beforehand um, because they think it's not a good sign to buy the stuff beforehand so yeah I've actually listed everything in the notebook otherwise I'm going to forget so the first thing what I'm going to talk about and which is like a big investment for me is a crib um, if you are planning for a co-sleeping I would strongly recommend you guys to buy a crib instead of you know keeping the baby between you and your partner because that would make the baby's life and your life more easy um i made a slight mistake in that um because you know i already measured the height of the bed and the crib's height according to that i've purchased but what i did wrong is I asked them to attach the wheels because I wanted to move um, into the hall uh, in, and into the bedroom so I wanted to move so the height got increased and um, yeah the whole concept of course sleeping got disturbed so yeah I managed to put him in the crib uh, till four to five months but once he started rolling over he always wanted a human touch so he never slept in it yeah i thought of um, taking those beads off but it is going to spoil the crib because that carpenter or that guy he fixed it so tight it is going to um broke the leg so i strongly recommend you guys to invest on a crib if you are planning for post sleeping make sure that is have two height settings because once baby starts to stand up it would be much more safer you can decrease the height of the crib and it would be much more safer make sure you are buying the crib with like a really really good quality otherwise you know it cannot handle the weight so make sure you do that make sure you check the height and yeah that's it that is a really good buy guys crib i cannot stress enough on that that is a really really good buy and the next one is a rocker it's a rocker chair actually um i've borrowed it from my brother this is something which i used a lot um i used to i mean that rocker seat that one is having like two to three height settings now two to three uh, seating settings like um the seat used to come forward the, it used to go back it used to completely be flat so i've used that a lot i used to put him on the rocker and um i used to place it on the lawn and that that was having like a plaging kind of a thing um, with balls and uh, soft toys so he used to look at them so it was like a really really good um, investment if you want to buy something which will which you are going to use for a long time because I've used it for like eight to nine months um, eight to nine months before he actually started to sit properly I used to put him in the rocker and bring the seat forward and I used to feed him the food. It was like a really really good buy for anybody out there guys because that was having a bleaching and you can just carry him uh, along with the handle and yes you can sit on a height and baby won't feel that you have put him down. Um, that rocker is from Just Born I believe. Um, I think they have bought it in the store it's not an online purchase uh, but the crib was from mommy me um it's and the brand is mimi it's their home brand the mimi crib which was pretty good and the next one is baby wear like baby wear bags um this is something which i i think everybody should own because you know because uh, till the time they can properly sit and they can properly um, 
you know uh, hold their head um, it would be always difficult for you to carry them like this wherever you go so I would strongly recommend you guys to invest on a baby wear um, baby carrier um, I'll put actually this is not this is not something what I bought this is um, my husband bought because with because it was on offer and he was passing that way so he bought it he bought the mini baby carrier so this particular baby carrier i won't recommend guys because this is so stiff and so thick there are so many baby carriers out there which are made with like really really soft breathable materials they are so good um um but this one in particular is like really thick and so stiff it's not flexible at all and definitely baby is not going to feel comfortable in that um, yeah it offers support but this is not like the comfortable material I would pick for my baby but my husband told that uh, so make sure if you plan anything to buy make sure you discuss with your husbands or with your partners before they go and buy some random stuff so do that so that is that guys so the next thing i'm going to talk about is skincare the first and foremost thing is diapers i've only used pampers guys till date i'm using pampers because I, I don't see really positive reviews about other brands online or in my circle so from the day one he is a diaper baby from the day, day one I, i'm using diapers I don't know guys there are a lot of misconceptions about diapers using diapers but the only thing um, what occurred to me is you have to keep the baby diaper free for an hour to two at least per a day if you do that it would be like really really um, safe to use diapers I haven't seen any issue with Maria he was totally good and I strongly recommend you guys to use a diaper rash cream every day, like every time. It's not, diaper rash creams are not something which you use after you get the diaper rash. You have to use it regularly so so that you, you prevent them occurring the diaper rash, prevent them. And coming to the wet wipes, first I've started with Himalaya because they were provided um, in the hospital. So I've started with that one. They were totally good nothing bad about them but after that I've used Kiko which were um, not so good I wouldn't recommend them because they're not wet enough and it used to take a lot of rugs which I really really don't recommend because various blood is like really <laughs> the softest thing guys so yeah you, you cannot keep on rubbing so it never used to be wet enough for me so I've shifted to Johnson & Johnson and till now I'm using that they're really good they are not um, heavily scented and they do not irritate the skin. They are pretty good, um, basic ones. And the next one is massage oil. Actually, I bought all the skincare stuff beforehand so that you know I know everything is there and I can be stress free for a while. So I bought all the skincare stuff beforehand. Um, so first, I started with Himalaya which I really didn't like uh, because he developed a couple of rashes after using that oil um, I'm assuming it is because of the oil because the moment I've changed the oil the rashes disappeared so I'm assuming it is because of the oil so I haven't used that again so I've used the after I've used the Johnson & Johnson one which was good nothing fancy it didn't um, I messed with uh, the skin I didn't mess with the skin it was okay it absorbed quickly it was really good so yeah after that uh, I've used uh, some other oil mixture which my mom and let us yeah it was good nothing messed with his skin again so yeah that is that that is that and the next thing is body wash body wash is something I've tried a lot um, first um, I've started with the um, I think Johnson & Johnson which was okay but I've started I've, I've, I've observed his skin becoming dry so yeah I went so my doctor suggested me the pediatrician he actually suggested me to go with Cetaphil so I started using Cetaphil body lotion and Cetaphil body wash so yeah 
I've used Cetaphil for like uh, till one year, like till 12 months I've only used Cetaphil. After that I tried the Aveeno one. It, it made his skin more dry. Like, Aveeno is something which everyone raves about but I don't know, it didn't work for him. It made his skin more drier. So yeah, I've continued the cetaphil, but now I'm using Johnson and Johnson again. I want I tried, but I tried, it was okay. So I'm using it, but I'm not sure if I want if uh, if if I find a slight dryness, I'm again going to switch to the cetaphil. But yeah, that is the thing, but I do not recommend you guys to try um lots of you don't do a lot of trial and errors on baby skin um it's just the dryness that is the reason i've tried johnson johnson again but it is okay now i think his skin started changing so yeah it, the skin started changing so it's not drying anymore johnson johnson but i mean it was definitely drying on him so for after a couple of washes i've started using i've stopped using on him and i started using that so that is that Cetaphil is like um basic brand guys a basic one which doesn't mess up anything so i've used Cetaphil body lotion and body wash both um and the next thing is okay so these are like the baby care stuff which i'm going to talk about the first baby care stuff which i want to talk about is the nail cutters guys they are little monsters i totally mean it when i say little monster like their nails are so sharp like literally sharp and they keep on scratching themselves like a lot and they keep on scratching you also you also you have to keep on scratching so yeah, invest on a good nail cutter. I bought this nail cutter from First Try, uh, which is really sharp and it got a little um, magnetic, magnifying glass, not magnetic, which will help you a lot. Um, I might link that down in the description box. It is a really good one, guys. Uh, but I hardly cut his nail because I'm scared. But my husband do that really, really well. Um, so yeah, that is one baby girl stuff you should invest. And I would also recommend you guys to do some research on cloth diapers. I've bought like a couple of super bottoms. They are the cloth diapers. I might list them in the description box as well. They are really, really good, guys. They absorb a lot, and they keep they keep the babies bum really really dry and um, they don't irritate the skin I really like them I use them in the daytime mostly so yeah I'll leave them um, in the description box and do some research on cloth diapers because yeah there are a lot of stuff available in the market there are a lot of uh, varieties available in the market so that is that guys so coming to the clothes um, I feel like um, there are so many cute stuff to buy for babies and they are so so damn expensive i feel like you know they're asking 700 rupees and 800 rupees for this much of cloth like seriously they are so expensive and so cute but yeah i've managed um, to buy a lot of stuff from the cross try i still buy a lot of um clothes and everything from first try they have some pretty good deals guys so yeah the first thing i bought is um body suits a lot of body suits uh, but i thought i think i should have invested on some t-shirts and some shorts as well because they do the body after every feed so it would be really um easy for you to check if they have shorts instead of body suit otherwise you have to open up everything and you have to check so yeah it would be really good to switch between body suits and shirt shirts and shorts um so yeah body suits are really cute but i think a way um putting them in a shirt a t-shirt or a shirt i would recommend you guys to invest on shirts instead of t-shirts because they cannot keep their head up for much time so it would be really difficult for you to you know put them t-shirt so i would recommend you guys to invest on shirts 
and knickers like shirts um that would be really really practical for me because it would be easy for me to check um so yeah that is where i went wrong um so and bed sheets as well lots of bed sheets i feel like you should invest on you should buy like lots of soft bed sheets soft cotton bed sheets there are a lot lot available online or you can check mimi stores these kind of stores um a lot of soft cotton bed sheets they come really really handy and the blankets as well try and buy the blankets with blankets with uh, without fur because i've seen them irritating maria so yeah he used to get irritated whenever i uh, put that blanket on so yeah i would strongly recommend you guys to do not buy the blankets with fur i don't know guys you, i mean if you are buying online you cannot really feel it how it is going to be it might irritate the baby skin so instead of buying that buy soft ones buy the soft cotton blankets as well um the thick ones and the next thing is sweaters and mittens mittens are something everyone should buy <laughs> there is no choice otherwise they they are going to keep scratching themselves and cry oh my god maurya he always used to scratch on the eyes like only on the eyes i don't know why like like this like this that's it always his hands on his face i don't know why i'm pretty sure every other baby out there is like that so lots of mittens lots and lots of mittens that will save your life otherwise they are going to scratch them themselves and cry that's it and sweaters are something which i struggled a lot to find the you know good ones i bought a couple of sweaters from first try which were some are bigger and some are like really really tiny and they didn't fit him properly so they are something um, which i struggled a lot to buy uh, to find a good quality one i would recommend you guys to go to a store and buy or or just straight away buy something from h&m or uh, mnds or any other good um store because i know h&m it's uh, is really really good one i've got like a couple of jumpers from them they're really good so yeah and the next thing i've kept in handy just in just in case of emergencies is a feeding bottle i haven't used it a lot i've just used it like a couple of times um uh, just to feed him water i know nobody recommends you to feed baby water till six months or something but um i i did uh, because of some reasons so i would recommend you guys to keep a feeding bottle handy just in case of emergency and the next thing i've bought and used a lot and i'm still using is a musical instrument it's a savior guys like really it keeps the baby distracted it sings like uh, 10 to 15 songs and it tells stories oh my god i cannot tell you guys how much Moria likes it <laughs> he still plays with it so yeah i would strongly recommend you guys to give it a go oh, i know a lot of babies really really like to hear songs so that is all what I bought after Maurya was born, like in the early months. Um, but now there are lots of there are a lot more purchases. Uh, for example, I bought this cracker stroller, and yeah, one more thing what I forgot to tell you is I bought um, a breast pumping machine, uh, which really really helped me a lot uh, to get a, a little bit of sleep in the nights. So yeah, that is not a must, but if you want to include, you can definitely buy it. I bought the Mimi one. Again, uh, it is good. Nothing fancy. It's not like the most powerful one. It's really good, but I've got the electronic one. I haven't got the manual one because um, I tried the manual one in the hospital. It was horrible. So I bought the electronic one. So yeah, it was good. I might leave the link to that in the description box as well. So this is it guys, this is the end of the video and I think this video will help any new moms out there and do share with this do share this video with your friends guys who are expecting it will give a brief idea where to start. Um and yes, uh, do give me 
some video recommendations in the comments below and if you like this video give this a like and I will see you in the next video. Bye!